Welcome to optimization. Optimization problems are, are actually kind of fun. They're, they're sometimes challenging. And the idea of optimization is, is somewhat similar to the idea of related rates, meaning that the, the challenge in optimization is actually finding the right relationship. And to me, that's the same challenge that you find in a related rates problem. What, where they differ is that once we find the right relationship, we're going to want to maximize what we're talking about or minimize what we're talking about. So, so for instance, just as an example, in this problem, we need to maximize the volume of a box. So we don't, we're not looking at, at how fast something's moving or, or how rates are related anymore, obviously. We're looking at, at, at maximizing, which is going to involve finding extrema, just like we've been doing for this entire chapter. Okay. So, usually these problems will also come with restrictions because if you wanted to maximize the volume of a box, well, if you had an unlimited amount of material, you could just make the box as big as you wanted and, and the volume would be as big as you wanted it to be. So, we're going to have some restrictions, like in, in this case, one of the restrictions is that the, this box must have a square base. So, what that means is that the the if you're looking at the box from the top down this is the base and it has to be square so all these sides have to have the same length so let's just go ahead and, and begin by labeling them as X we don't know what X is but we know that that the, the sides have to be the same so so that's convenient for us to write it like that and of course that means that up here that's that's how it translates to the picture of the box okay the uh, another restriction is that this box has to have an open top so that's easy enough there's there's no top we'll just keep that in mind and then the surface area of the entire surface area of the box has to be 108 inches squared so that means that this side has some area this side has some area up here this side or this other side has some area this side has some area and of course the base has some area the total surface area of the box cannot be more than 108 inches squared. So that's really a limitation on the materials we have. Right? We're, we can't make this box as, as just infinitely large because we have a, a certain limitation there. Now let me show you, this, this problem could actually come up in real life. What if you had a company that was making cardboard boxes, for whatever reason, and they got a sheet of cardboard. They, they bought their materials in sheets, and it's a sheet of cardboard, and they know each sheet it has an area of 108 inches squared. Every single sheet that comes in that they buy has this area, and they need to make the biggest box possible out of this sheet without wasting any material. So they don't want to throw any material away, and of course they can't make a box with, with uh, material more than this area because they just don't, they don't have it. They have this one sheet. So somebody might might have 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 bought this sheet and they want to make the biggest box, box possible and you got hired as the math mathematical consultant and you need to figure out what box the dimensions what the dimensions of the box that will will make the the box have the biggest amount of area will be able to hold the most material. Okay, so maybe we're working for big boxes R us or something like that. Who knows? Okay, so let's let's actually begin the problem now. We have it all set up. Well, we know that that volume, of course, for a box is equal to just length times width times height. And we also already know that the volume is is uh, or the length and the width are x and x. So this is x squared times h, right? Because the base is x times x, and then you you multiply by the height. So the, the, the height of this box, maybe I should do it this way, the height of this box is just h. And, and the, the length of the base and the width of the base are both x. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far, but now we have an equation in two variables. We have the volume in, in, in two variables and we don't want that. And this is the part of the problem that that is the hardest in my opinion for almost all of these problems it's figuring out how to get how to get your your volume function or whatever it is 
that, that you're trying to optimize, how to get it in terms of just one variable. So how can we get h in terms of x so that this whole thing will be in one variable? Well, we can notice that the total surface area, let me do this in a different color, the total surface area must be equal to 108 inches squared. And the surface area is pretty easy to calculate because we know that the area of, of each side is going to be just h times x. This side is h times x, and of course these other sides, they're all the same, right? Each side is, is, the, same, is the same, h times x. Okay, so we have four sides with h times x, with area h times x, so four times h times x. So four sides with area h times x, and one and, and the base, I should say, with area x squared. And of course, there's no top, so we don't consider that. So plus x squared. And now we have, we have, oh, this is equal to 108, right? It has to be exactly, the total surface area has to be exactly 108 inches. And now we have another equation that we can use to, to solve, find h in terms of x. So let's let's just do that. This will be com 4h x equals 108 minus x squared, and then h is equal to 108 minus x squared, all over 4x. And then I'm just going to split them up into two fractions and do the division. So this is going to be h equals 27 over x. 108 divided by 4 is 27, and the x stays uh, minus this is going to be x over 4. So that we, we figured out h. That's, that's what we wanted to do. It figured out h in terms of x. So now we're going to take h and just plug it in. And then we'll have volume in terms of only x. So let's do that. Oops, I'm getting a call. Hold on one moment, please. Okay, I just took a phone call. And for you, it was one second. But for me, it was a little bit longer. And I lost track of what I was saying. So let me just think of what I was trying to say, I, I believe what I was trying to say was that we're going to plug h in, uh, what we found h to be in, in for h. So let's do that. So the volume is x squared times h, and we know that h is 27 over x minus x over 4. And now I'm just going to distribute that through, and I'm getting sick of just all white, so the volume is now going to be equal to 27x. So this is just algebra now. The, the One of the x's cancels here. And then minus x cubed over 4. So we have the, the volume function in terms of just one variable. And we are almost done. We, we're almost ready to take the derivative. But we do have to do one more thing. And this is, a, this is actually a pretty important step. So, so try, not to, or try to remember to not overlook it when you're doing these problems. I'm going to make some space here. And, and the step that we're going to do right now is find the, the domain of, of the function, of the volume function. Meaning, what is the, the biggest and the smallest x could possibly be? Well, if this is, we have this, this square base, if we have this square base, and we know that the most, we, we have a restriction on the area, or on the total surface area. If this square base has a total surface area of 108 inches squared. That's the biggest that the base could ever possibly be because if the base is any bigger, then we'll, 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 over, we'll go over our limit, our restriction. So if these are both x and that's the biggest the base could ever possibly be, then we know that x squared is, is the biggest it could possibly be will be 108 inches squared. And that will mean x will be equal to the square root of 108. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, if the base is 108 inches squared, that means you can't have any height because that will add more surface area. You're right. You, in this case, you will have no height if you let the base be take up the entire surface area. There will be no height. So, but, but that's important to, to know. So we, so we know that at most, x is going to be 108 inches squared. Uh, sorry, the square root of 108. Okay, I'm running out of time. We'll continue fi figuring out the domain in the next video and then solve the problem. See you then.